The Perfect Fit Inserts Kit is a system that lets you create a better fit in your point shoes. They are designed to be easily molded by the dancer herself, using only her foot in the shoe. That's why we created this short video to guide you through the simple process step by step so you can mold them yourself at home. The whole process should take about 20 minutes, about 10 minutes per foot, and you'll only have to do it once. At the end, you'll have a completely customized pair of inserts to fit your foot and your shoe precisely, which will offer unparalleled comfort, support, and control. Before molding your perfect fit inserts, please read through the entire molding instructions booklet carefully and watch this video from start to finish so you're familiar with the process. It's super valuable to see the arc of the molding process before beginning. This video will also not cover all the details included in the instruction booklet. Then you can play this video again and follow along as it guides you to mold your inserts in real time. Are you ready to create your very own pair of perfect fit inserts? Before we get started, make sure you have everything on this list as described in the instruction booklet. Remember that managing your time is probably the most important thing you can do to ensure a successful molding, and this video will do it for you. Also take a minute to double check the thermostat in your studio or house. Heat will accelerate the cure time of the putty. So if you're not in a comfortable room temperature environment, find a different location or wait for a different day. And lastly, a reminder that you should already have the ribbons and elastics sewn on your shoes so that you can really work the shoe and roll through your foot as the inserts mold. Ideally, you've worn the shoes for a class or two, so you have some degree of articulation. Okay, to get started, open your kit and lay everything out. Before beginning, warm up your feet a little bit with a few releves, plies, and stretching. We will only mold one insert at a time since it's easier to manage. Choose the foot that you want to mold first and put on your other shoe doing your regular padding routine. This is just so you can have your weight centered over both feet when you go up on point to mold your first insert. This is a good time to pull out anything you might keep in your shoe platform, like a bit of lamb's wool or a foam wedge since we don't want anything extra in your shoe during the molding process. Also, as the instruction booklet mentions, if you have a longer second toe, check out the FAQ section on our website for some slight modifications to this process. If you plan to mold gel big toe spacers into your inserts, we need to adapt them slightly so that the moldable impression material can grab onto and anchor them in the insert, forming one integrated piece. We do this by putting a little stretch fabric sleeve around them. The same sleeve can be used to adapt these two common styles of gel spacers. Remember, if you also use smaller spacers in between your little toes, you should just wear them as normal and they will come out when you take the insert off. Open one set of jars of the moldable impression material and scoop out whatever volume of putty you decided to use, but don't mix them quite yet. For most dancers, we recommend using the full jar. For professionals, we recommend more like one half to two thirds of the jar. If you have smaller or narrower feet, or if your shoes were fitted with very thin pads or without pads, you most likely won't need the full jar. Or if you just want a more minimalist insert, you can opt not to use the full jar. This step onwards is when we're going to use the timer. You already know this from reading the instruction booklet, but timing is important because once the colors are mixed, the material will start to slowly thicken as it cures over the course of about seven minutes. It's important that the putty is still nice and fluid when applied to your foot and inserted in the shoe, so that it can freely flow to all the spaces in your shoe, mold around your toes, and escape as necessary. Before you start mixing, here's our pro tip. Try to knead the two colors together just using your fingertips. You want to avoid mixing it in the palms of your hands, since that can heat it up and accelerate curing. Our goal is to mix for less than 30 seconds or so, and then to be standing on point with the mixture inside your shoe by around the two or two and a half minute mark. We'll tell you when to start and when you should be moving on. Ready? Begin. Go ahead and knead the two balls of turquoise and white putty with your fingertips until the colors blend pretty uniformly. You'll notice that the material leaves a bit of a sheen on your hands. This is because there's a small amount of mineral oil blended in the putty which prevents it from sticking to your skin during the molding process and allows it to slide off your foot after curing. Here's where our paper towels will come in handy. 
It's now been about 30 seconds, so let's move along to the next step. If you're molding in a spacer, take a little pinch of putty and put it in the crook between your big toe and second toe, and then pop your spacer in there so it's contacting the pinch of putty. This will ensure that the moldable material contacts the fabric sleeve. Okay, let's get the putty on your foot. Start applying the material generally all over the tips and tops of the toes, being sure to cover any known pressure areas, like a bunion or bunionette. Remember, the material will flow away from these spots, but will fill the space around them and thus reduce pressure. Don't worry about being too specific about the placement of the material, as it will naturally flow to where it needs to go once inside the shoe. Also remember that if you wrap the material over the tips of your toes, it will naturally flow upwards towards the throat of the shoe and cover the tops of your toes as you insert your foot in the shoe. So don't worry too much about putting a lot of material on the top of your toes or across the metatarsal. You shouldn't need to add any material on the undersides of your toes unless you're wearing a spacer. In which case, take a pinch of material to cover the bottom of the spacer, since the material may otherwise have a hard time flowing there. Now put the fabric cover over the top and gently tug it until it's nice and smooth. The socks in this video don't have the patch, but make sure you get the right sock on the right foot. Next, put the plastic bag loosely over your foot and insert it into the shoe. The material will start squeezing out the throat of the shoe as the volume self-adjusts. It will probably feel a little snug at first, but the pressure will decrease as the material flows to the voids in the shoe and escapes near the drawstring. Okay, now stand up and get ready to let your insert mold. It should now be between two and two and a half minutes or so from the time you first started mixing, which is exactly what our timer shows now. Now alternate between standing on point, rolling through demi point, standing flat, and walking around for about five to seven minutes until the material finishes curing. You should also try articulating your foot with some tondus. Really work your foot in the shoe through all these positions. If the inserts feel at all thick on top, you can try using the heel of your other shoe to gently apply some pressure to the crown of the box. The moldable material will flow to the voids in the box of the shoe and mold very precisely to the shape of the toes, continuing to self-adjust and equalize pressure until the material fully cures. Working through the transitions between all these positions will ensure that your finished insert doesn't feel like a static cast of your toes in a single position, but rather a comfortable blend of positions that is unnoticeable, whether on point, on flat, or rolling through demi point. During this step, it's important to think both about lengthening through your toes, as well as correct ankle alignment with your weight centered over your first two toes, so that the molded insert will encourage and remind you to use proper technique. Occasionally check the escaped material with a quick squeeze or poke. It should start to firm up, and once it's done curing, it should feel like a rubber ball. It may still feel slightly fluid inside the shoe, but that sensation comes from the oil that's blended in with the moldable material. After the material seems firm, repeat steps one through eight for the other foot, leaving the insert you just molded in your shoe. You can back the video up to step one so that you can use our timer again. Remember to try and apply the moldable material in a similar manner, same volume and placement as with your first foot. The right and left inserts will naturally look a little different from each other, and they'll also look a little different from anyone else's inserts. After the second insert seems firm, take off both shoes and slide the inserts off your feet. You might have to wiggle them off your foot a bit since they have such a glove-like fit. You can wipe a bit of the excess oil off of your finished inserts with a paper towel and wipe off your feet as well. Then, simply cut off the excess escaped material along the line of the edge of the lavender fabric cover. If the sock was visible when you had the shoe on, you'll need to trim that as well. Here's where it's helpful to use the impression lines from the shoe's drawstring casing as a guide and cut right below them. You now have a completely customized pair of inserts for your point shoes. 
If you examine the inserts, you should find that they are thinnest at your usual pressure points, including under your longest toe or toes. This might seem counterintuitive at first, but it's actually a far more effective strategy for reducing pressure points in your shoe. Remember that this is unlike a traditional toe pad because the goal is actually to improve the fit of the shoe. Instead of taking a reactive approach by adding more padding, like with wads of lamb's wool or gel cushioning products, which by adding thickness can actually increase pressure, the inserts take a more proactive approach by filling the space around the pressure points, which helps to offload pressure and distribute your weight more evenly. If your toes are feeling amazing, please snap a pic or video and tag us at Perfect Fit Point to show us what you created. We love hearing from you. And remember, if you have any questions, you can reach us anytime at info at perfectfitpoint.com. We're always here to help. Thanks for following along and happy dancing.